I was actually invited to Cambridge University to give a talk there on Indian politics and global politics, which I did. And it was quite a nice, nice atmosphere, nice talk. And I was thinking while I was speaking over there, that it is quite strange that an Indian political leader can give a talk in Cambridge University, Harvard University, but he can't give a talk in India, in a university in India. Right? And the reason is that our government simply does not allow any idea of the opposition, any concept of the opposition to be discussed. Same happens in Parliament House. When there are important things that we need to speak about, demonetization, GST, the fact that the Chinese are sitting inside our territory, when we try to raise these questions, we're not allowed to raise them in the house. It's a fact. It's, a, it's, it's shameful, but it's true. And this is not the India that all of us are used to. Our, our country is an open country country where we pride ourselves on our intelligence, respect each other's opinions, listen to each other. And that atmosphere has been destroyed. Uh, you, can see, you can see the narrative in the media. As a community in this country, you have done us all very proud. And of course you have done us proud because you've been successful, because you've made a lot of money, you've developed a lot of businesses. But that's not the real reason you made us proud. The real reason you made us proud is because you respect the people you live with, you respect the different cultures, you respect the fact that you're living in England, you listen to their perspective, you embrace their perspective, you tell them about our perspective and in that way both groups of people improve and do better. So you have shown in your living here, you have shown what an actual Indian person should be doing. Living peacefully, affectionately, with respect, listening to other people, learning from other people and also as a result of our history, as a result of our tradition, teaching other people what we know. So I'd like to end by thanking all of you for making our country proud, by shining, <laughs> by, by being a shining example of what it means to be Indian, of being respectful, of being loving and affectionate to everybody around you.